Hello YouTube, it is me, Robots again. I am back with another uh, monthly video for my haul series. I've got a lot of cool stuff this week. Alright, well this month, not as much manga as I would have liked, but I got some really good deals, which we'll get to in a second. Um, so yeah, I'll kind of just get into it. Uh, first up, I got the third volume of Sweet Blue Flowers. Uh, I don't have enough room on this desk to... Uh, Put everything which is kind of awkward but uh this is a super fantastic series let, let me see if i can uh if i can no i can't zoom back out at all which is an issue but so volume three i love this series it's a super fun fantastic yuri um there's just one more volume i'm waiting for now and i really hope that it sells really well so that uh viz will do a license rescue for Wandering Sun, because they do advertise on the back that it's uh, by the author Wandering Sun, which was released by Fantagraphics, but it looks like they dropped after Volume 8, so hopefully Viz will save it, and I'll finally be able to complete that collection. So that's the first volume here. Next up, I got Volume three of Interviews with Monster Girls. It's kind of awkward that I only got volume three. I don't have one or two yet, but I got this like six bucks off, brand new from the uh, retailer. There looks like there's some marks at the top here. It's hard to see, but I've read some of this online before it was being brought over into English, and I've seen the show, and it's a really nice, uh, relaxing slice of life, so I'm happy to finally start picking up. I just have to find the first two volumes now. Hopefully, hopefully I can get them on sale too, but if not, that's not too big of a deal. Next up, I got volumes four and volumes five of Haikyuu, which actually catches me up to where I was online before I just started, uh, started uh, watching the anime instead. So... I'm excited to start picking up past here because it'll be manga I haven't read yet, even though it's pretty much the same as the anime which I've seen, but still, it's always nice and fun to see something new, so uh, super excited to pick up these two. I have a friend who's super into Haikyuu who will also be excited to know I am picking up more of it finally. Um, still, still a very long way to cashing up though. And then next up we got volumes 8. 9 and 10 of Nishijo. So this completes my regular Nishijo collection. Um, I just need to get the Helvetica standard and, or not standard, that's what they called it in the show, Helvetica italic and bold volumes that are part of the Helvetica standard spin-off series. And then I'll have all of the Nishijo stuff, so super excited to finally complete my collection of this series. Really fun gag manga, so yeah. Um, after that, this I got an insane deal on. It's usually like 70 Canadian something on like any retailer and I managed to get it for $36 Canadian, which I'm gonna have to pull back here. But this is the Revolutionary Girl Utena uh, complete box set that has the two, I believe, three-in-one hardcovers. And this is just such a beautiful release. Let me, let me angle this awkwardly. So I can pull out part of volume one. It's got a real snug fit in there, but so volume one and then volume two, which is the second half. And then it also comes with a poster and the back end. So super excited to finally have this. I've been meaning to watch Revolutionary Girl Utena forever and I never did so now I'll just read it instead I guess but yeah I'm super ha happy to have this in my collection it's such a nice release and yeah I have to awkwardly move this back um I also got one art book I got the uh School Girl Strikers visual book uh which is the anime for this just came out a while ago, but this is for the mobile game. It's a lot of concept art and stuff of like the different outfits and like super rares and stuff and 
it's pretty cool. I'm, I like the game, it's pretty fun, and I play Schoolgirl Strikers in White Schwartz, the anime kite game. But, uh, the anime was terrible, it was a disaster, and it made me really sad, so. I don't know, I'm glad, this is really my only, it's on my Weiss deck, my only Schoolgirl Strikers merchandise, so. I'm just really happy to have this, and it's really cool, and I'm glad I'm picking up more art books, because I absolutely love art books and really need to get more. Um, then of course this year, which you can see back here, uh, the Made in Abyss original soundtrack by Kevin Penkin came in. It was off the Curates. I believe there are only 800 something volumes of this made. So there's only 800 something volumes of this in existence. They might do another pressing, but like, it won't be the same as this pressing where it has like the colored vinyl and stuff. And yeah, it's just super cool. Made in Abyss has one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard. I mean, it won the Crunchyroll Anime Awards soundtrack, so the art on it is beautiful. Let me spin around the back side so you can see that too. It's just such a good soundtrack and I am in love with it, so one of my favorite things to get this year, or this month. Well, this year so far too, because it's only been a few months. Uh, next up, I'll get into the anime I got, and I'm sorry you can kind of see my shadow here. Uh, the way lighting is in my room, it's really awkward. There's a window right behind me, but... I got the complete collection of Matoy the Sacred Slayer. Uh, we did it for our anime podcast book club for Shenanigans, and I really, really enjoyed it, and it was on sale, so I finally got it. Um, we're watching the OVA for this Monday's episode, so going to be busting that out soon. Um, I also got the Girls in Panzer, the real Anzio Battle OVA. It was on sale really cheap, and there's no legal way to watch this anywhere. You can watch the movie, the other OVA series, and the original series all on High Dive, but you can't watch this. So this was the only legal way to finally watch this, so I'm glad I did. And then the last thing I got was the Flip Flappers, uh, Sentai Filmworks Blu-ray box set, and it is gorgeous. Just like, oh, I'm in love with it. The only thing I wish was that it had a soundtrack. As much as I love this art book and think it's super cool, and it's huge, and like, just super high quality, super nice high quality, I just really, I'm a sucker for soundtracks. And I love Flip Flapper soundtracks, so I really wish they could have licensed that. Unfortunately, they they couldn't, but this is still a really nice release, and I'm super, super happy to have it in my collection. So that is all for my March 2018 collection video, because I'm not doing games. I might do that in the future, but with how much I just buy digitally now, that doesn't really work. So, uh, But yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next month with some more cool stuff. Let me know. What you saw, let me know if you maybe want to see games in the future, and take care.